How's it going, handsome? <laughs> Hi, my boy. <laughs> Good on you, man. Like, uh, give. So, uh, thanks chip. for waiting a few minutes, man. Oh, bad. No worries at all, man. No worries Sweet. at all, man. No worries. No worries, mate. <laughs> no worries, mate. I would just, yeah. we, we're just losing touch. Do you know 100%. what I mean? Like, we, about 100%. We, we're we not remembering what being human is actually about. Yeah. Fuck, we really no, exactly. the podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Write that shit down. Oh, yes. wait. We did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. But, but it's no. true, man. It's like, I totally agree with you. We, we totally forgotten. We're just driven by the wrong stuff most of the time. Eh? Mm. Yeah, well done. That's the yeah. main thing. <laughs> we're like, ta da Yeah. I have a house. It's so cool, man. Party. It's massive. <laughs> no, I just house now, party. Yeah. yeah are, you are. No, Shanti, she is a boy messy. Bora Messi. I love Bora Messi. She's a Bora Messi. She's a Bora Messi. <laughs> tell Shanti that I told her that she's a Bora Messi. <laughs> I'm going to tell her. <laughs> oh, classic, bud. Waking at dawn. Back- Woo hoo 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 hoo. How's it going, Gareth? <laughs> Great, guys. It's going so well, my man. How about you, buddy? Oh, I'm really awesome, my man. I'm excited to introduce episode 53, which is just you and me. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited too. It's uh, going to be a different one, of course. You know, it's just you and me. And we are doing this for a particular reason to start the new year, uh, episode 53, with just a bit about us, a bit about what's going on. So there's kind of five things we want to talk about in this episode and one is just like an introduction in terms of you know episode 53 what the year has meant to us and a couple of other things and then why we are doing this podcast too yeah that's a really important one and we get on to random learnings and realizations that we've had along this journey and producing one episode from a to z at a very high level and we also got onto where to from here. So that's sort of looking towards the future. But uh, we're really excited for um, yeah, episode 53. Yeah, for sure. And just in terms of the introduction, you know, this is one year. And wow, what an epic journey it's been, hey? We've f- had 52 episodes so far. And this is obviously 53. We've spoken to some incredible guests and every single one of them has probably slightly shifted our way of thinking and given us a different perspective on how to do things and why to do things. And for me, Craig, I can just firstly want to say a massive thank you. You know, it's been an, it's been an incredible journey for so many different reasons and, you know, our Friendship has blossomed, I think, as a result of it. And I'm really proud of what we've done. We've created something small, but it's starting to get some traction. And we are making a little bit of a difference in this world. Hey. Uh, Yes, Gareth, I can't even tell you. I'm so proud of you, my man. Uh, It's such an amazing thing to watch one of your buddies just like grow and change over a year. And I'm proud of us, you know, uh, for getting this far. And it's just the the friendship, like you mentioned, were, is something that's really stood out for me. And uh, the learning curve and all the amazing things that we've kind of had to learn because because we're learning about one thing, we've kind of had to learn about another thing. And it's been such a an honor to to do that with you and along with everyone listening. Like that's just been we're just so grateful so i'm um, just we've both been just f- so full with uh and humbled you know with this journey and we've spoken to 50 incredible people um you know well how many is it now <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah it's 50 i mean cause yeah, I mean, because because we yeah it was 50 people ourselves. yeah exactly right yeah, yeah. well so, it's probably more than 50 because 
because we like there was a couple of episodes where there was two people and stuff so maybe it's 52 or something like that yeah but it's a it's about 50 right so you know and and we it's just been so life-changing for us and we never quite imagined how great this journey would be and yeah i'm just so thankful as well man so yeah here's to another 53 hey absolutely absolutely it's going to be really really exciting and um but we had a great reunion this year didn't we we caught up for the first time in ages yeah it was just incredible uh we went up at the podcast movement and in philadelphia and we got to hang out in new york and it's as we mentioned a few times now it's the first time we'd seen each other in ages and oh it was just what an amazing interaction it was there for the people we met there but also just for hanging out as mates hey? it was awesome but like it had been three years since we had last actually seen each other in person and it was just really special to connect you know especially after what we had created off you know after I think it was 40 weeks or something. We had, n- we had never kind of seen each other and yet we'd put 40 episodes together. So seeing each other in person was just really sort of impactful and powerful. And we, we also just learned so much actually at podcast movements. There was so much to take away from that. There were so many great people. There was a lot of kind of realizations too, you know, and we, we kind of made, made some fairly decent changes to our podcast off the back of that experience of podcast movement. Yeah, we did indeed. And, you know, it's, it's just really the, the light bulb moment is what you mentioned as well. It's just, it's the moments where you sit down and you look at yourself with a, you know, under the magnifying glass and the process that you've been through um, has, was really what, what was so valuable to us. And um, yeah, we, we, we just want to like take it forward and, and move into a direction of what really drives us. And that's our why, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. And our why I think probably comes from the same, but also different places. And for me, I feel like everyone on this planet has a responsibility to give back to this world, right? We have a responsibility to make the world move forward, uh, to make it more efficient, to make it work more effectively. And for me in my like previous career as an investment banker, I always felt like my giving to the world was very one way uh, in terms of I was just taking stuff in a way, you know, I was never really providing too much value. I was working for a bank and I was helping them make more money and add controls so they didn't lose money and that sort of stuff. But I wasn't really providing the world. I wasn't really giving much value, I felt personally. And this for me is my why. This for me is my little bits of giving back to the world for creating a bit of a movement and a bit of connection between people and just a few kind of realizations that we are all so similar and we need to have each other's backs and that's that's like my mini why. How about yours? <laughs> <laughs> Not so many though. I think that's quite an amazing why. And <laughs> and it's there's something so fulfilling about giving back, isn't there? It's it's the feeling you get from giving is is way better than anything you can ever experience when you receive. And uh I think that's definitely part of both of our why as well is is giving back. Uh, and in, and that comes in the form of producing content as well, not just consuming it. You know, we, we really, when we set out with this, we just thought we don't want to just sit back and read and consume and take and take and take and take, uh, which is, is easy to do in, in one way. Like it, it doesn't take a hang of a lot. And, and at the onset, that was one of the things we just kind of really felt strongly about was that more people in the world can be or could could and should be creating if you can if you have the ability if you have some little bit of knowledge on something or an opinion about something we felt strongly that that was a good reason to produce some content and if we felt a certain way there'd definitely be someone else in the world that might feel similarly and um you know in this world these days we feel that the the connections between human beings is is not quite what it could be and we ought to have these 
deep human connections be explored and uh, and and fo- and find out what connects us all as human beings and you know moving on from that some of the realizations and the learnings that we've had have kind of brought to bear some of that human connection uh, isn't that hey Gareth? yeah for sure and just before we get on to onto that i feel like everybody in this world has something to give like you might not know it you might not realize it but trust me you have gone through things in your life that others haven't and through your own journey and your own learnings you have something to give back never ever ever for one second don't think that we all have so much to contribute and so much uh, advice to give and wisdom to share so that's uh, that's really important you know it doesn't matter who you are where you're from anything like that but in terms mm-hmm. of like you said craig random learnings and realizations <laughs> there's been many that's for sure and <laughs> One of them, which is uh, quite funny, is I guess the words we use and the phrases that we use, and we definitely notice after re-listening to our podcasts each week that there's some words that we we definitely both say a lot and phrases like, you know, and it's so funny, like (laughs) how many times I must say, you know, it's classic. (laughs) And it's weird, like it's like I have to reiterate if the person actually knows what I'm saying, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'll just, and I'll say, it, it again. <laughs> I'll say it 20 times in this podcast too, <laughs> but oh, it's, uh, it's all part of the learning process and, and trying to improve how you, how you speak yourself. And there's other words like, like that we use a lot <laughs> and <laughs> awesome. Awesome is another one, but you know, they're not necessarily the worst words in the world, but they are also fillers. And it's just a matter of making these little changes as you go along and realizing how to maybe speak better and, and use other words too. Yeah. And I guess everyone does it, but it is, it's awkward in the beginning just to listen back to yourself. We have to be honest, like when you hear those words and you think, do you just edit them all out or do you just have some natural flow to it? Cause I think most people use some of these words, but we are trying our best. And, you know, part of that, the, the learnings is trying to mix things up and, and be flexible with our approach to podcasting and our podcast and each other and the process uh, because you can easily be set in certain ways. And this is a dynamic thing. People are dynamic and human beings, the way we interact is a dynamic thing. And we always want to be able to be open and willing to try new things so that we can number one, be ahead of the time or at least close to that and enjoy the journey for ourselves because uh, that's part of why we do this is, is just to have a fun time and experiment with new things. And, uh, that's kind of always been uh, a driving force for us. Hey, for sure, Craig. And I feel like that has actually really helped us move forward. You know, not one of us has ever gone, no, that's a silly idea or no, you being silly, you know, we've got to do it this particular way. It, it, we've yeah. both, well, both of us have really been open to moving this forward and very flexible, you know, in, in terms of our discussions and, and how we, how we do take this forward. So I just want to say thank you for being so flexible. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, with some of my stupid ideas sometimes and, right. and it just really has helped us sort of some of them you're like, yeah, Gareth, okay, cool. Let's do that. Or, you know, other times you're more sensible and you're no, 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 let's just, think about this and do it, do it, keep it as is or whatever the story is. So likewise, man, I think that's been an amazing thing. Yeah, definitely. And Thank you. We, we've tested a lot of things, haven't we? So one of them is around equipment and software that we use. We're both now today, we're at our standing desks, which yeah. is cool. <laughs> Energy is different when we have chat. Uh, I've changed my microphone to the same microphone that you have because the one I was using before was maybe a bit too sensitive. So maybe my voice is going to be almost as good as your chocolate <laughs> voice. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, but uh, that's, uh, that's one of the things I aspire to do is speak like you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then just silly things like my, I never had my, Wi-Fi connected directly to my router. So, you know, and I noticed in some of the chats, there would be stop starty with the Wi-Fi and it'd be hard to follow. But then just getting an extra long cord 
to put it into the router helps. You know what I mean? And these are things like, it's weird. You don't think about them sometimes. And after like 42 episodes, you're like, oh, maybe I should get this or maybe we should use that. So um, that's been, that's been really cool is just learning what actually works for us. Yeah. We've had these moments where you think it's, it's so obvious, <laughs> you know, and it took us <laughs> how many episodes to get into, but nothing we realized along the journey as well, that nothing is obvious until you actually know it until you've worked it out and figured it out and done it. And that's just, you know, kind of cool. And look, it, ta- it, it took the guy that's not the chiropractor to, uh, you know, get me to get the stand up desk. So, <laughs> so I'm going to say thank you, my man. <laughs> Pleasure, but, you know, pr- practice what you preach a little bit. You know? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I also got to say thank you for your organization skills. You know, you got out of banking and, and I'm, I'm glad for you. I've seen this massive transformation in your life. I'm um, just watching you from the outside and, uh, but also uh, you've also taken a lot from the bank and I think, and on your years in like being in that rigid environment and the way you write emails and uh, the way you organize our templates and procedures are like second to none. And I've learned like so much from that. So, you know, that that's part of the whole process and it, it's so important, you know, it's not just like, Oh, I'll remember that or I'll do that next time you know, write it down, put it in a, in a specific format uh, so that next time it's easier. And also if you want to tell someone else how to do it, it's literally all there. So all of our stuff that we've done, all of our procedures, even if it's a small thing, are all in templates and all in procedure guides. And um, I probably would never have done that. <laughs> that wasn't for you. So that's, I've got to thank you for that, my man. No, that's a pleasure, but I'm glad that my banking days actually taught me something and uh, definitely being organized helps uh, helps things progress, that's for sure. And the other thing that has been really good for us, and but it's also sometimes like difficult to hear, is feedback. And we know that if we really want to make this as valuable as we can, for you guys that we need to cater for what you want to listen to. And we have asked for feedback in emails and during at the end of podcasts and the beginning of podcasts just saying, what, you know, what would you like to do? Do you have any sort of suggestions, et cetera? And it's been so powerful and we've really made some great changes because of the feedback we've received. And it's like invaluable. We can't even begin to explain how awesome it is. But also, it's interesting that, like I said at the start there, just now, it's, it's difficult to kind of accept feedback because you like, you'll read it and you'll be like, oh, no, no, that's, no, <laughs> that's stupid. You know what I mean? But everything is valuable and you really need to put your ego to the side when you receive feedback. And we're just thankful that people have actually also put their neck on the line to give us constructive feedback you know these are most of these people are our mates and stuff too and and i think that takes a lot you know they're like i'm gonna maybe sort of not jeopardize but like you know whatever the right word is something about our friendship to give you some constructive feedback um so that's been really really cool too and we're just massively thankful that that people are are willing to to give us good suggestions yeah, and and sometimes it's it's just from people that we we actually don't know, and that's also so valuable. You know, that's we always we we're just so grateful to each and one every one of you that that do interact in that way, and uh, we look forward to that continuing. But the other interesting aspects around guests and and listeners, and and one of the things is that a lot of our listeners, um, a lot of people think that it's fairly. Well, a question we get often is actually, how do we get our guests, you know, and uh, it must be, is it hard? Is it easy? Like people aren't really sure. And, and we've had a bit of a mix on that journey. Uh, we've had times where we've, we've been really organized. We've been pushing the momentum's good and we've got loads of interviews in a week and we, you know, Gareth's up super late or I'm up super early and we've got like a few in that week and it's going really well. And then we've had times where, you know, we're out in the desert and we're looking for a guest. <laughs> things are a bit lean, and uh, but that's part of the fun. And we've realized as being very human, there's an ebb and flow. There, there's You really organize with things for a while 
And then sometimes you, you push on other areas of the podcast or of the business or however you want to look at it. And then, then you realize, oh, we've been slacking on this and come back to this. And the, the getting guests is, is, is a lot of hard work uh, and a lot of time and energy goes into doing that. And it's, it's good emailing, good communication, and a lot of planning. And it can actually take quite a few hours in a week, just uh, the back and forth, say, Gareth. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it definitely is not as easy as you think with a world of 7 billion people to, to get people to agree to come on your podcast. And it's like you said, some weeks we had plenty lined up, you know, we had like 10 pre-recorded episodes and then the next time after that, we were like, Oh, we don't actually have one next week. You know what I mean? So it, it is a, it is a constant, um, challenge definitely and one of the other things that we've started doing which was a lesson learned from the podcast movement was to be a bit more ruthless with our editing and previously before we before we did actually start doing this we kind of just you know chatted a lot and we we just kind of when in terms of the editing we would just clear up the gaps and make the sound better and, and just kind of leave the whole podcast there, which, which didn't always work because we would, it would take a long time to actually get to where the value was. And now one of the things that we learned there is we just need to be a bit more ruthless. We need to cut out the fluff and we need to make sure that uh, we bring value early on in the podcast because at the end of the day, this is your guy's time. This is precious time, you know, and we want to bring as much value as we can in a shorter space as possible. And that's uh, the way we're going to be doing things going forward. Yeah, and when we talk about value, we're talking about you. We're here talking now. You're listening to my voice and Gareth's voice. And that's an amazing thing that we are right there with you. And we had this habit and I don't know, it's just us as mates or South Africans, we're always like you guys or our listeners. And at the end of the day, that's not a very inclusive way of speaking. So we're trying to, because we're very conscious of our journey with you, we want it to appear that way. And certain words like just saying you instead of you guys make a big difference. So you'll notice that we, we're giving it our best shot um, because that is our actual intention is to actually bring value and to, because we care about you and your time. Yeah, for sure. And it's funny, like when you say that we, cause we're, we're so conscious of it now and <laughs> we'll laugh at each other after we've like recorded an intro or something. And we'll go, aha, you said you guys, you said eh? you guys. <laughs> <laughs> which is quite funny because they right. often slip in. And the, the other one, which is also pretty cool. And, and another thing that we actually learned at podcast movement after just speaking to this girl that what used to be a radio broadcaster. And she was like, always remember your first listeners. So people that are listening to the podcast for the first time, they might only start listening at episode 53 because they know that person on the podcast. And for that reason, Craig and our voice is actually very similar, although his is a lot more chocolatey than mine. <laughs> <laughs> and, Amazing. <laughs> and because it's similar and we're both South African, it's, it's actually difficult to decipher who's talking sometimes. So she was like, you must actually pass on to each other. So you must go, oh, so what do you think? Hey, Craig. And then Craig does the same for me. Oh, yes, I hear what you're saying, Gareth, et cetera. So we try and do that more, pass on with each other's name because it, it just helps people identify who is actually speaking at the time. Yeah, we can go th on for uh, uh, the whole way through a two-hour chat and and people are like, I literally don't know who was saying what. And and obviously, when it's your own voice, you're like, what do you mean? That's that's me. <laughs> but it doesn't always work like that. But talking about time, it's just so one of the things we've always remarked on uh, or remarked about during or after our chats that we've had or our interviews is that something happens at like the hour mark when we're speaking to people. It's such an interesting thing. It's it's something we've noticed time and again with even seasoned interviewees. They they might have done hundreds of interviews. They know us well even. And something happens at that time. So it's something, I guess, inherent in everyone that you just start to feel really comfortable with, with the surrounds you're in. And I guess that's one of the reasons why we like to chat a little bit longer than that one hour mark because, you know, 
it's just that the real uh, the veil comes down, the guard drops, and you 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 find that people suddenly start to have this connection with their own story, and that's the real power that comes out. And and suddenly you you don't have to as the the guy or the girl interviewing you don't have to push anymore. It suddenly starts to flow. And it's that flow state within the interview that's it's so such a really cool thing to see. Yeah, it is cool. And it's funny, like after we've had the chats with people, we always have a little bit of a chat afterwards, of course, just between ourselves. And we're like, oh my gosh, it happened again. Did you, did you hear? Like, you know, after <laughs> one hour, they just opened up and this <laughs> happened. So it really is. I don't know what the science behind that is, but it is really interesting. And the other thing that we are trying to do and we're definitely getting better at is learning to be better interviewers. And it, it seriously is an art and it, it takes time to, to learn how to be a good interviewer. And we, we've put certain things in place and we've changed certain things. So before we, before we change what we have changed recently in probably our last four or five podcasts, we kind of just let the, the chats flow. We kind of had an idea of what we wanted to talk about, um, but it was a little less structured. And now what we've done is we've actually, we've created almost like a, a tiny bit of a structure around how we tackle each podcast. And we, we have three main uh, hook questions which we ask and then a few little ones between that as well which really help with the flow of it so we, we're trying to improve how we actually talk and the other thing around that is actually having also an opinion on things I guess we both kind of felt before that we, we maybe both sat on the fence a little bit with certain things even though we had opinions about them uh, we wouldn't necessarily say it so now we want to be like, well, we need to actually express ourselves a bit more and what we actually do talk about and, and having an opinion is, is important. So it also creates a bit more for conversation, you know, and people might go, ah, oh, I really don't believe you, blah, blah, blah. Or they might go, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's good not to sit on the fence. And we've decided that, you know, we'll, we'll just speak more openly about how we, we do actually feel. Yeah. And it, it's part of that feedback as well, because we've, we totally understand that people start to actually build that podcast into their day-to-day -day life. So they, they know that, okay, we launch on a Wednesday and they're going to listen because on a Wednesday morning, for example, for them, they might be on their way to work and they know, oh, cool, Wednesday morning, um, ridiculously human guys are going to have some other interesting guest on and they, they give us like real-time feedback that day, which is amazing to us. And um, we have to just remember that uh, we going along a journey with people and it's not just at people. And I think that's been a, a great realization and it makes it a lot more, way more fun and engaging for us. Yeah, for sure. And one of the other things is that we both love podcasts ourselves, right? And we're very influenced by the podcasts that we do listen to. We learn a lot and we also have our favorite podcasts. And I think couple of them overlap and one you've one you've definitely introduced me to that I didn't listen to before and so for me my favorite podcasts are still to this day I really like Rich Roll he is he's such a great interviewer and, and his guests are, are really really cool um, the other ones that I'm listening to at the moment are thanks to you is uh, Sam Harris really really cool really really smart guy speaks to some very uh, interesting people and he certainly has an opinion on things which uh, which is great like you really want to listen you're intrigued by his chats because you know he's not going to sit on the fence on anything <laughs> and you'll say his thoughts but he's also I mean he's a he's a neuroscientist and and all these other things so he's, he's pretty clued up that's for sure then I, I listen to I listen to Gary Vaynerchuk a lot too um, probably less than I used to, but I still find him super motivational and he really helps me. And he just, even though he, he says, he always says the same thing, but in a different way, which I found awesome. His story never changes. It's very powerful. Um, but he manages to kind of, I don't know, transcript it a little bit different and, and talk about it a little bit differently in each one, which is always just a good reminder. And then the other one, which I'm probably listening to a fair bit at the moment, is actually Seth Godin, Akimbo. 
And these are all ideas around marketing and growing a business and just doing it in a really good way. And there's so many good reminders in that podcast. What are, what are ones that you're listening to, Craig? Yes. Well, there are so many here and they, we're so lucky. I feel mm -hmm. we always go on about this, don't we, Gareth? We, we're so privileged that we can listen to literally like game changers in any industry, disruptors, like legends, and, and you can just put them on and listen to what they have to say directly from their own lips. It's just quite incredible. And the just a little bit of sort of left field, maybe ones that I've been listening to of late. Um, I agree with you. The ones that you mentioned are definitely staple in both of our lives. Um, along with, you know, the, the usual Joe Rogan suspects, you know, you want to, you always want to touch on touch with those touch base with those big podcasts, but there's lots of other ones that you do, you supplement with, don't you? And, um, one that I've been listening to, um, now and again is the inspirational living podcast where I forget his name. Now he reads sort of old texts from old authors uh, and and shortens their their works um, and it's it's really uh, interesting and amazing to hear that life lessons are are old they're not just new uh, and and they've they continue into the future the, the once again affirming that we're all human we all go through similar things even if you were born 200 years ago and wrote a book you know and um and Conversations is another one I've been listening to. It's actually an, an Australian uh, 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 podcast uh, and great, interesting guests, yeah, like a big mix of, of really interesting individuals that are not necessarily super famous, but are just doing great things in, uh, in their lives. And that's obviously what inspires Gareth and I very much. And one last thing is, is the... Um, the Stoic Journal is that you introduced me to, Gareth. Um, it's been really great and doing a little bit of writing every day has been beneficial for me, even though I can't read my handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's classic. Oh, but I mean, at least it makes it exciting when you try and work out what you've written. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And, the, you know, the, the, yeah. So just moving on from there. Um, yeah. Who do you look to, look up to at the moment? Who, who's in your life that you kind of are looking up to and aspire to? Who am I looking up to? That's a really good question. I, I almost, it's weird. Like a guy that I've always looked up to is actually Nelson Mandela. And it's so weird. I mean, obviously the guy is not around, but I feel like in some weird intrinsic, I don't know what sort of way, like, I have this funny connection with him and he kind of appears in different parts of my life. Like he's a painting here on the wall. I've got like different books about him. There was an exhibition the other day in London about him. And I don't know, I, I just, I always look up to just the way he was as a person and how he respects people and just how he influenced the world in his calm way you know what I mean he I mean obviously he had a lot of stuff that went on in the early days but you know once he got released from prison he just had this real aura about him and he's someone I just admire on so many different levels and he would probably be yeah he would definitely be one of the main ones and yourself oh, well I, you know I can't argue with that one he's he's just the most special people um that ever existed that we ever obviously come in contact with and well, a close contact, let's say just being able to hear him speak and those kind of things, just incredible. And actually one of our recent guests, um, just inspired us both so much. Uh, Wanjiro Mathai, uh, she was so inspirational that it just set you and I both thinking about so many things, uh, how, how we could just do more, be more, um, give more. And um, yeah, I'm just so grateful we got to speak to her. Yeah, I totally agree. That was such an inspirational chat and just amazing. And the other cool thing, Craig, which is a, I guess a kind of realization or something, we, we started the podcast with three digits in terms of the, the numbers uh, representing the episodes. 
And I'm so glad that we started with three digits because, <laughs> you know, we're already at 53 and there's no ways we're stopping before 100 and beyond. Maybe we should have started with four digits. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon. So, yeah, the one thing that we really want to talk to people about is what it takes to produce one episode of a podcast at a high level. And yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, there's so much to this journey and I think what we'd like to discuss a little bit briefly today, as you mentioned, is the high level stuff. It's not about starting a podcast. This is a different story. This is just one episode. Once you're rolling, what do we kind of go through? What is the process and what is the effort that's required uh, to create one episode to, from start to finish. Um, and yeah, we'd like to also just explain a little bit of that process from A to Z um, and basically um, how and what and who assists us and, and what roles we broadly have within that structure. Yeah, for sure. And it's important to say that we did absolutely everything for this up to, I think, almost episode 40 or even a bit later on. So we, we did everything. We've now recently introduced or, or got a couple of virtual assistants on board that help us with a couple of things, which we'll run through now. But to start things off, I don't think people should underestimate the amount of work that it takes to produce one episode. I almost think it's around 25 hours a week, at least between you and me and our virtual assistants, like for one episode. And what that actually entails is, first of all, it's many hours uh, just looking for a guest. You know, we follow people on social media, we listen to other podcasts, we read about people in the articles. And yeah, it just, it, it takes a while to find the kind of right guest for who we want to speak to and, the, and helps us with the message we're trying to, trying to spread. And we then sort of engage with them on social media by following them and interacting on with comments and things like that. And then we take it to the, the sort of contact stage where we'll email probably 40 to 50 people a month at least minimum. And maybe we have a success rate of 5 to 10% if we're lucky. And, and that's fair enough. You know, kind of often you're just emailing someone out of the blue and they're like, well, okay, who are you guys? What are you about? So, you know, we take a lot of time just to, just to find the guest. Hey, Greg. Yeah. And for each one of those guests, we, we do a lot of research about them. So we actually produce a storyboard, which is basically something that helps with the flow of the conversation. Uh, but it also covers their life story and, their ins and outs, what they've been through, where they're from, and some of the potential discussion points. And also coming back to what you're saying about emailing, obviously we send this to our guests and then they might want to amend a few things. And then you obviously we just have a few back and forth with that as well, uh, or add things that they might want to discuss or not want to discuss because that happens occasionally too. Um, and then we also... Um, like to prepare off the back of that a sort of a sequence of potential questions um, and basically who will take what more or less within the chat. And we have sort of three main questions that we're going to start middle and end and we call these hooks. And that's basically something that we also got from Emma who was um, in radio before we spoke about her earlier, hey, Gareth. And um, then what we do is we book a two hour slot for the chat and we then record it. And then obviously there's, that's just when we've got the raw material and that's kind of the first part of the, the whole process. Yeah, for sure. And we use that two hour recording to have a look, little bit of a pre chat and then to kind of set up the, the technical side on both our sides. And yeah, so that's why we need a two hour slot with every person. Mm -hmm. And after the court recording, uh, we then send the video to a girl called Camilla, who is absolutely delightful. And she then transcribes the video for us uh, in a particular format that we've asked her, which helps us for things like creating the video 
and um, the articles and things like that. And then we also send the audio to Peter and Peter helps us uh, clean up the audio actually. So removing the gaps and, you know, leveling the, you know, the levels of people's volume and other stuff, which I have no idea about. And Craig knows a lot about <laughs> in terms of the audio. And yeah, then, like I said, I use the transcription uh, from the videos uh, to create like mini clips that we do. So we do different clips. We do a Facebook clip an Instagram, Instagram clip. We do a YouTube preview and we also do a full video of the, the whole podcast too. So I do, I, that's what I use the transcription for. And then we do four different types of articles as well. So email campaigns, blog articles, websites, and then the show notes and everything that we add on to the, the, the podcasting host. So there's a, there's a lot that goes into, you know, into that part of things. Yeah, and you do a great job of writing those articles and I just get to proofread them, but <laughs> you do a great job of it. Well, you do oh, a great God. job of proofreading and, and, you know, we have a little nickname for you, Eagle Eyes, because you're so good at it, but <laughs> Mate, there's not much to do. Your writing is, <laughs> has become so good. It's, it's crazy. That's one of those learning things, I guess, as well, that we were mentioning earlier. But So then we catch up on a Friday evening for me and a morning for Gareth. And uh, we have a little chit chat catch up. We then record our introduction uh, to the, 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 the interview that we'd had and the outro. Uh, and we also do sometimes a little bit of planning, strategizing for the coming week and weekend. Um, and then what we do is we get that audio and we, I'll, I'll run through and make a few more corrections within the audio, maybe a few ums and ahs and clicks hissing hissing sounds and things that come from our <laughs> mouths uh, that aren't always amazing to listen to. And then also just try and restructure the chat if it needs it. Um, and But there's not much of that usually. And then a few uh, ums and ahs. And just the flow of the chat sometimes just needs to be just uh, tightened up. But we, we try and keep it as, as much as possible, just most of the chat there, um, unless we kind of wandered or had silly questions that weren't pertinent. Uh, and uh, then what we do is we just upload, upload that audio to our podcast hosting platform. And uh, yeah, and then, then it's ready to be taken from there. Yeah, absolutely. And once, once you upload it to the podcast uh, platform, then there's a, there's a whole lot of you know, work. That's almost, that's almost a lot of the work begins. You, know? you have to update your website and upload everything on social media and that's kind of the way to grow your business these days is like on social media and you make you need to make sure your your posts are relevant they're inviting they sort of make they're quite curious in a way you know they make people think they're like oh cool i want to listen to this and you've got to do it on all the platforms and because there's different people on different platforms that listen to things and, and watch things in different ways so that's a big part of what we do uh, sort of post-production. And then of course we send a follow-up email to, to every single guest just as a thank you together with some files and pictures that they may, they may want to use on their own social media to help us just get the word out there of their own podcast. And we spend the guests the rest of that week interacting on social media uh, with listeners with you guys with you <laughs> and <laughs> and also also with the guest and and future guests too so so yeah it's a it's a big it's a big production it takes a lot of work but it's super it's super worth it if you have the time and you can do it um so so that's that's the actual whole process and then craig like we said one year in We've got so much more in stock and where to from here, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been, it's been so much fun. I was just listening to you say all that and the time and effort, but it's, you know, I'm just grinning because it, it is a lot of time and I've been saying no, and you've been saying no to a lot of social things. And that, that's just life, you know, because you, you've chosen to, to do something that you are just loving. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that opportunity, but, you know, we understand that our podcast, our podcast could be growing faster than it is, 
Um, we're not in a very, very specific niche. And, you know, that's a real buzzword in any marketing and stuff like that. And, it, and it's fair enough, you know, but we feel that human connection is not just one very, very, very specific thing. And we, and we want to make sure that we keep very inclusive. And, um, but in doing so, in, in not being unbelievably laser focused in a niche has helped us to learn so much from such a big variety of people. And, and that's something that uh, definitely we wouldn't want to change. Eh? No, not at all. And it's a, it's a constant battle that people ask us and whatever. And we're like, yeah, we, we, we totally get it. But we, um, but yeah, I guess it, it is what is it, what it is for the time being. And, and we just love it, you know, having so many different perspectives and, and views on the world. And the other thing is like, we always, we spoke about this a few times now already, but like we're always constantly finding better ways to refine and improve our podcast as a whole production. And each week we must send probably hours of audio messages between each other <laughs> talking about, talking about things and like that come to our mind or that we've heard on other podcasts and you know, that we should add. And we have lists of stuff that we, that we want to do to refine and to just make this better. And each week we try and add a little thing to it so that, so that it does improve just incrementally. And it's uh, it's quite an exciting process to go about it that way. It is indeed Gareth. And one of the things you want to do is we want to start incorporating some more bonus episodes uh, now and again, it might not be every week, but uh, we're going to add some of our own thoughts in perhaps from the chat that we'd had that week that were particularly inspiring for us uh, or thought provoking. And we also have a few other things that may crop up. We might do a panel discussion, uh, which is something that we've done a few times now and topics with interesting people that we engage with friends or other. And we might throw those in, in there as well, because we find that if there's some value in those conversations, then why not share them? Yeah, absolutely. And then the other thing we want to do is also sort of be guests on other people's podcasts. We were on a podcast earlier on this year, which was our first one at podcast movement, which was really, really cool. The superpower you podcast. And we actually going to be guests on another podcast coming up in, I don't know, probably in the next month or two, uh, which is just, this is it. This is, we, we put it out there to the world and uh, it's, it's kind of happening. So that's really exciting. Yeah, it's super exciting. It's very different being on the other side of the microphone. We experienced that when we chatted to Lisa at Podcast Movement, but we loved it. And, uh, and you know what, when you put something out there, you might just receive it. So uh, it's starting to happen more now. So that's, that's really exciting for us. And a lot of people ask us about monetizing you know, how much money you're making now, the podcast, you know, and stuff like that is something we hear quite a lot. And, you know, for the time being, we've made a conscious decision that we're not going to just sell out and put an advert or two um, for pillows or beds or underpants or whatever it may be on our podcast. Um, I just, you know, there are many reasons for that. Um, but we want to use this as a platform for something that, as a team effort, we're loving and enjoying, and it's not about it's not about just making money. However, we obviously want to we have a platform, and we want to use this to you know springboard other opportunities that may be around some of the stuff that Gareth's working on and uh, and I'm building on the background. You know, we can use that to talk about our other um, opportunities that come out. And perhaps some kind of courses and that down the, down, the, down the track because we've learned so much doing this that we actually have something to offer in terms of uh, course material. Um, so, you know, there's, you know, how do you run a podcast with a mate in a different time zone? You know, these are <laughs> things that someone else might want to know and skills that someone else might want to know. Absolutely. And it's, it's so cool. I think the way we've kind of gone about it and gone, yeah, let's just, let's just not monetize it, you know, cause it just gives us the freedom then to manage everything and do things on our own terms. And, mm. you know, like you, you, you said, we want to use this as a platform for other things. And, you know, one of those things might be like doing speak, doing talk somewhere and, uh, yeah, whatever that that's definitely one thing that we want to do around the world. Mm. And, 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 
that's maybe how we want to earn money from the podcast is not through annoying ads for a pair of socks. It's through maybe getting invited to do talks and paid to talk or, or like you said, creating the courses and stuff. So one day in the future, when we do actually start earning some money, we, we do plan on hiring, I guess, other people uh, to help with the production and management of a podcast because we feel that, you know, we need a bit more space and a bit more time to really just be a bit more proactive and strategic in our thinking and uh, to do other things too. So we, we do, we are conscious of that, uh, but we know that, you know, you have to have patience as well in life and these things will eventually come and you just got to sort of keep on persevering and uh, we will, we will be adding that to the, to the, Uh, podcast in the future which is actually rather exciting and who knows it might mean that we eventually have enough money to build a studio somewhere like or you know at least our own little ones at our houses and we can then invite guests over which will be just phenomenal oh that's that's one of the big dreams and and you know i feel that we'll get there i feel so inspired every day by the people we're speaking to and the interactions that we're having uh, I just feel like it's almost inev- inevitability. So that's really exciting. And it's been a massive year, as you mentioned. It's been a learning experience from beginning to end. But we've all had changes in our own lives. Well, you and I have had changes in our own lives that have been brought about due to the process that we've been through and the and the people we've spoken to. And, you know, for me personally, it's just been total humility and one big change that I've had in my life is I've been way less judgmental. I, I don't, I, I totally just understand more and more that people have had a different journey to me and that's okay. And there literally is no right and wrong. I, you know, your, your right and my wrong or whatever it is, is, is often so subjective and a, a real truth is they might exist, but it's, you know, who am I to say that that's the correct way or the other way? So that's a massive change. And going forward, I'm going to just be way more of a listener and more understanding and, and be more patient with people because of that. So that's really been a massive learning uh, experience. And I'm, I'm so grateful for that. Absolutely. How about you? Well, yeah, that's, I mean, that's really very similar to mine, Craig. It, everybody, everybody has a story, right? It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, how old you are. We've spoken to people of real different ages from so many different backgrounds and everyone has such an amazing story and it's within their story where people learn and that's why we need to take time to listen to people's stories, you know, and just be more conscious of it. So you might, you might have a mate, for example, that's been your mate for, I don't know, 20, 30 years, but you might not have sat down and actually spoken to him a bit more about his story. There might be something about his childhood that you don't know. And it might be your parents too. You might might have just gone through life and never asked them questions. And it's important to understand the story and you'll you'll find it very valuable in just sitting back like you said and listening and, and asking a few questions and you go wow that was really amazing thank you for telling it telling it to me and I've learned so much and I, I feel like for me that's been one of my one of my biggest lessons this year just just let people talk just ask them questions and you'll learn so much from them yeah well Gareth Thank you so much for the last year and a bit of podcasting. Thank you, everyone that is listening to our voices right now. We love you all. We are super grateful that you are along here with us and we appreciate every single one of you and we can't wait to continue this journey along with you. And until next 53 episodes we can't wait to see where it goes absolutely and uh, i must congratulate you there craig on saying you every single (laughs) time 
Jeez, it was hard. I want to see you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you didn't say, you know, you didn't say awesome. I was like, no, way. I was not going to say at all. <laughs> so, yeah. Cool. And also, but just shortly from me, thank you again for everything. It's been such a great journey to experience it with you. And I can't wait for the next 153 episodes. And thank you guys for listening to our podcast we literally couldn't do it without you it's just really is an unbelievable gift and we super just grateful for absolutely everything so we hope you've enjoyed this podcast we know it's a little bit different and we hope there was some value in there for you and just wishing everyone an amazing week year it's not long till the end of the year now it's for christmas all these things are coming up lots of excitement so make the most of it, enjoy being alive, connect to the people that are next to you and try and make a little bit of a difference in this world. Cheers. Yeah, cheers, thanks. Waking at dawn, packing the gear, September tour and up in the air, stop at the toll, 